Hi, my name is Muhammad Ahmad Safan bin Azman, final year student in Physics University of Malay. Today, I would like to explain about my final year project which is the evaluation of performance of variance reduction technique in MCMP code for submillimeter decimeter size. Even though it sounds complicated, however it is not. First and foremost, I will tell you about the objective of my FYP in a simple word which is to improve the accuracy and the time simulation for radiotherapy. So how I am doing this? If you heard about the simulation words, it must be related to computational programming or coding. Indeed, in this project, I'm using Monte Carlo Neutron Particle Software as the medium to simulate the code. Simulation is a process that scientists nowadays work on which has come with a lot of advantage. Simulation can be defined as to replicate the process of the experiment throughout computing method by using coding. Several advantages of simulation are it provided a various variable with flexibility of style that is customized. Besides, simulation was able to cut the cost of high-end or expensive experiment instrument as it also could avoid a waste of money if any damage occurs. The second word that you heard is radiotherapy. Generally, radiotherapy is a medical process that is about to remove or to kill cancer or tumor cell by irradiating the radioactive particle on it. Irradiation of radioactive particles can be consist of positive charge alpha particle, negative charge beta particle, and gamma rays or X-ray. It is not one particle only, but millions of particles. Dealing with a lot of particles is not easy. The particle move randomly all around, but downward statistics will help to overcome this problem. The good things are, MCMB come with the statistical approach within the software that able to measure the random motion of particle. A friendly interface of output data such as the uncertainty and energy deposited on the geometry could be produced. Imagine you are throwing a marble to a targeted object in front of a marble will be hard, especially when the target is far away. Imagine in atomic scale, the mistake or error must be high because you only have one chance to shoot to the target. But what about if you are given to throw thousands of marbles? This time, you have more chance to throw it successfully. Some of it must be missed out you still have a relatively more chance compared if you only have one marble. In terms of time, a marble could have a shorter time while a thousand of marble will require a long period to be finished. This analogy could be taken as the comparison to this simulation. To increase the accuracy, a higher amount of particle or in MCNP called particle per second is needed. A lot of particles will produce an excessively long of time to finish all the simulation. Then, my job is to imply a method called Variance Reduction Technique or VRT. VRT is an extension of code that we use in MCMP that could increase the accuracy and improve the computer time simulation. There is a various VRT in MCMP. In my project, the VRT chosen is Energy Cut-Off and False Collision. As you can see from the result, the first graph is about simple dosimeter geometry which the NPS chosen is from 100 to 800 million. However, as you can see, the only data with the experimental data that have similar pattern is with 21 billion NPS with cut of energy VRT. This show the significant change of data in the simulation in VRT use. The next graph is the accuracy in terms of uncertainty. Instead of using simple dosimeter, ion chamber CT13, the real dosimeter is coded in MC, which condition apply is with cut off energy, force collision, and without VRT. Cut off energy has showed the best performance with a good form in uncertainty value and computer time simulation. So, force collision is help in reducing uncertainty, the time simulation is unvarying compared with without VRT code. Even though VRT is a small extension in MC that has not so much research, it really gave a significant transformation of data for a good accuracy and time simulation. I hope this project will be continued later for another type of VRT so that it will become a part of the computer simulation development in the future, especially in radiotherapy technology and also for the MCNP user.